We're on air tonight with breaking news. Police and protesters squaring off after an incident involving race at a local ice cream shop. Thank you for staying up with us. I'm Fred Shropshire and I'm Sarah French. Let's get right to WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper live in Gastonia with the late breaking details. Yes, Sarah and Fred, for the past several hours, the protests have continued here outside of Tony's Ice Cream here in Gaston County. Now, this is where a woman says she was discriminated against earlier this week for wearing a Black Lives Matter pin. And as a result, two different groups have come together with a very different group, very different viewpoints, that is, facing off. If you take a look at your screen right now, here's a look at the first protest earlier today, starting outside the Gaston County Courthouse. Many groups and activists gathered promoting their message that Black Lives Matter. Soon enough, a dispersal order was issued to help clear the crowds and SWAT officers were called to the scene. But then soon enough after that, the crowd should simply transition to outside of Tony's ice cream instead. There, it became somewhat of a standoff between the opposing groups. At one point, officers had to block traffic along Franklin Boulevard and try to separate the two sides before tensions boiled over. Then yet again, SWAT officers were called to the scene to help clear the crowd. We got a chance to hear from both sides to get a better understanding of the issues. I love everybody, black, white, green, blue, purple, it doesn't matter. What I do not like is the disrespect. What I do not like is how unfair it is in the world today. This should be long gone by now. Why can't we work together? Why can't it be an effort to work together, come together as a community? And right now, the crowds have definitely got a lot smaller than what we were seeing earlier tonight. But police are still out here making their presence known just to make sure that things don't become any worse than they have been previously. For now, reporting live in Gaston County, Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte. Brianna, thank you.